Right. So when reference to the adding of new resource paths itself is concerned, here you can see there is a customer data which we have added here. Snootstrap verification process is what generally a secured way, which is not normally we have, right? So resources in reference to the customer data is what we have. At the same time, even security schemas in reference to the two-step verification process, which is also created here. Followed by this, if you want to create any kind of data types even, so we need to create a new data type like uh, customer address. Right. So this is what uh, the object we have created. So whatever we have created, you can see there are different different options which are available here. So next, we need to write down the description. Address of the customer has to be updated. Right. So this is what generally here. Right. So this is what generally we have. So add property, if you want to uh, property name, right? So this is what generally the add property is what we have done. So this is how generally these data types and all everything can be created accordingly. At the same time, even whatever the groups do we have, if you want to create, you can create a new group, title name, customer, Customers, uh, account holders. So, right, so account holders is what I've just created. Right, so account holders is what I have created as a title. I have just created as an account holder. You can see the account holder details was created here accordingly. So this is how generally it's not only the design center, even security schemes can be created for two-step verification process, which was created here. At the same time, resources as customer data was created, data type customer address was created. At the same time, in reference to the group, account holders can be created. So this is how generally this creations and all everything we have to do in MuleSoft.